वी आर हेयर विद अस सी ऑफ प्रसार भारती शशि सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कनेक्ट विद पी बी एन एस सर असर टेकिंग इन कॉन्टेक्ट द टूडेज कॉन्क्लेव वट इज डायरेक्ट टू मोबाइल सर्विस एंड हाउ इज प्रसार भारती गोइंग टू एनश्योर दैट सी टूडे इफ यू लुक एट अ लॉट ऑफ द कॉन्टेंट दैट यू कंज्यूम ऑन योर स्मार्टफोन्स इट इज कमिंग ओवर द इंटरनेट थ्रू सेलुलर नेटवर्क बिगेट यू नो टू जी थ्री जी फोर जी और वाई फाई राइट सो यू आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन अ लोकल नेटवर्क फॉर यू नो रिसीविंग दैट कॉन्टेंट Uh, however let's say you have you want to listen to fm radio on your phone you don't depend on the local network right because you have a fm receiver inside your phone and it is able to directly catch the fm signals so something similar where you can directly transmit broadcast content it could be video it could be audio it could be data if it can be delivered directly to your phones where you're not dependent on the local network so there's no data cost there <clears throat> there's no buffering because it's broadcast right uh, so that, that is the essential idea of uh, direct to mobile broadcasting because increasingly all data consumption is happening on uh, smart devices uh, so it is important to have this capability to be able to reach every smart device so what are the operation challenges involved with this and how what are the road map mm-hmm. that we are going to overcome it with it so we are in the early stages of uh, you know this technology so at this point uh, you know it would be premature to talk of very specific operational challenges uh the challenges are more in terms of how do you create an ecosystem for this how do you put in the right regulations in place the right policies in place uh, and then how do you spur innovation within the uh, country you know startups and technology companies to create these uh, you know s- uh, standards to create the necessary algorithms the software stacks to enable this uh, so i think that is where we are at uh, once this is in place and adoption kicks off i mean you know let's say the 19 cities where we already have infrastructure uh, then the real operational challenges will emerge so a big part of this 5g network how are what are we doing on that we are collaborating with iits which is a major move more on that and uh, what is the global convergence we are talking about how are you, how is prasabati going to elaborate more on that so a lot of uh, thought work has already happened within the iits on you know 5g uh, recently we uh, saw during the uh, trai silver jubilee celebration Uh, where the type 5G test bed was launched uh, where an india specific uh, component of the standards uh, was created called 5G i which has now become part of the you know global standards and so on so a lot of thought process already happened on the 5G side how do we bring it to the broadcasting side so that is the challenge and that is why we are working with you know academic institutions and startups to make it happen in india uh, and with tsdsi which is a standards body for india and other international standards uh, bodies like atsc uh, in the us Uh, and and research bodies like ETRI in Korea both of them are there today here uh, so so it requires everyone's mind to come together to make this happen okay on the global convergence sir and uh, more on how is the government policy going to enhance the global convergence part of the making 5g all over india and for, for the direct to mobile technology yeah. so so we are still in the early stages and i think today's event was very important because you had all the key stakeholders in one place uh, for the first time you know first of all to see the technology working because until now everyone thought you know is this just an idea out there right today it is real it is working uh, now we need to get to the details of you know what policies will enable this i white paper is going to elaborate more on that it, it's a discussion point this is a starting point it, it will trigger debate hopefully and will lead to you know some uh, policy measures in the near future thank you so much sir, for talking to pbns